in my house, I get a pretty noticeable 60 cycle hum. To usually mitigate that, you try to do a ground lift in your guitar rig, try to shield your electronics in your guitar more, or you put something in your wall socket to try to help in, with that hum. I'm not gonna do any of that. Today I'm gonna try out the Pile Hum Noise Eliminator two channel box. And supposedly that's supposed to remedy some of that. So we'll see how that works. I'll go through my Mesa Boogie Mark IV. It's 6L6 power tubes, 12 AX7 preamp tubes. It's ripe for amplifying any type of 60 cycle hum that your house may have. <laughs> Maybe picking it up, but you hear that hum there. Before you say it's this guitar, this is a factory made Ibanez RG2005 one. Um, yeah, it's professionally shielded. It doesn't have hums on any other areas that I've played in, but I'll switch out to my Les Paul so you can hear a little bit better. You still hear it there, a little bit different. It's a little bit more muted because this has a, a lot of um, shielding in it. So this Les Paul has the Paul Reed Smith Tremonti set in it. It's, the shielding in this is heavier than most of my other guitars. So but you can still hear the 60 cycle hum there. XLR or quarter inch on both sides. Today I'm just gonna use the quarter inch. So I'm going to put it in line. So main cable in, out on channel one, and then to the input of the Mark IV. So now it's in line here. Still have a buzz going on. One thing that's really obvious that I just noticed is it took a lot of bite out of the signal. Um, like it cut the gain in half. So louder here. So yeah, this thing really tone sucks. It does lower the hum a lot, but at the cost of killing your tone. Um, I'm not gonna use it, unfortunately. I was hoping it would be a good fix. I will buy the Morley Hum Eliminator and see how that does, and I'll make another video when I get that. So, until next time.